Hello, citizens of the internet, and welcome to the Dad's Guide to Minecraft building tutorial. My name is Anthony, and today we're going to be building this easy, rustic starter house. We'll do this build in two phases. The first phase will be a simple starter house. Then in the second phase, we'll add details, a roof, and other things to the structure to make it a house that you can play through late in the game. So if that sounds like a plan, let's get started. For this overall build, we'll need a space that is 17 by 19 wide. However, for this first part of the structure, we'll be placing the blocks out in a formation that is 14 by 9. So using this as our corner, let's go ahead and put down a spruce log. Now we're going to count over four. One, two, three, four. Put one on the fifth block. Count over two. One, two. Put one on the third block. Count over four. One, two, three, four. Put one on the fifth block. Now we're going to count seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put one on the eighth. And we're going to count over seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put one on the eighth. That should be equal with that one. Now each of these pillars, we're going to come up a total of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six and we'll do that on the rest of these. Once we have the pillars in place, let's go ahead and connect these with logs. Just like that. Now let's go around the outside and add some details. So on every corner, we're going to add one log sticking out this direction and one log sticking out this direction. So it looks like a log cabin. And just continue that same structure around to each corner. Like that. Next, we're going to fill in all of the space in between the logs with cobblestone blocks. And since this build is going to be a little bit taller, we're going to put down a full subfloor of cobblestone blocks. All right, now that we have the cobblestone floor down, let's go ahead and add some spruce plank walls. We're gonna come in from the side and start right there. One, two, three, four, and do the same on this side. So you should have a two opening here. We're gonna put two blocks in, switch to our stairs, put two stairs there, and then two upside down stairs. So you should have an opening that's recessed slightly and looks just like this. Now let's go to the other side and do the exact same design. Now let's go around to the left side and complete this wall. Coming off the side here, we're going one, two, three, four, five, six. Up on the sides, two in. So there's a three opening. Switch to your stairs, three on the bottom, three upside down. So you have a total of a three opening window. From the back of the build, we're going to also have a two wide door. So from this side, we're going to come over four, one, two, three, four, and continue up to the ceiling. We're going to skip two, one, two, and then continue over to here.
We can go ahead and connect the top and we'll leave this open like this for now. Now on this side of the house, we're gonna have a fireplace. So we're gonna come in one, call them like this with spruce planks. So we have a three wide opening here, and this is where our fireplace will be. And we're just gonna put one more cobblestone back here. Now we need to come up a total of 13 in a triangle formation like this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, break these for now, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And while we're up here, let's go ahead and add another layer of spruce planks all the way around the top. Just like that. Now let's go ahead and drop in the floor. We'll use dark oak planks for this. Fill in all the space, including in the doorways. And here, we'll add in cobblestone there, cobblestone there, and then a cobblestone stair facing this direction. Three upside down cobblestone stairs, a cobblestone stair there, and one there. You know, on second thought, let's go ahead and get rid of these three. Then when we put a fireplace up here, this will be the hearth. Now let's put on the roof of this temporary structure using dark oak slabs. All right, let's put a front porch on. So we'll come off from this corner of the spruce log. Well, we'll come out one, two, one, two. So we're like this. Then we're gonna come out one more with the dark oak planks, dark oak stairs, dark oak stairs. And right here, we're gonna put stone stairs facing at a corner like this, so you get this kind of neat effect, like that. Now let's go ahead and put the doors on. Facing out, put them right next to the logs like that. And then framing this, we'll use upside down dark oak stairs. Beautiful. Now let's switch to our white stained glass panes and come up and put in glass panes on every window opening. Then around the back, for right now, we're just gonna pop in two spruce doors like that. Don't worry, we'll address this in phase two. But if you'd like, you can go ahead and put down some cobblestone stairs here and here as a temporary back entrance. Then to finish phase one, you can place in some starter items, like a crafting table here, uh, maybe some chests here and here, um, and then my favorite furnace with a campfire on top so you can cook meat and smelt at the same time. And then over here, maybe a bed or two if you're playing on a server, and some torches to light up the interior. There, a day one survival house. Great, now that we have our starter house complete, this gives us a safe place to stay while we build the roof and finish the exterior details. But let's start with the roof. Select spruce planks. And let's come over to this log right here. We're gonna go off of this 
starting in this corner, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we should have one opening right here. Now we're going to go up three on each side, then two, and then finally one. Now switching to our stairs, spruce stairs, we're going to go on the outside of the build, put a regular stair there, and an upside down stair there. So we should have a two large gap right here. Now we can switch back to our spruce planks, add a final one on the top of this so we have a nice pyramid shape. Now coming around to the front, we can go straight across the build like this. And then right here on top of this log. So we have a corner like that. Now let's come around to the back and do the exact same shape. Perfect. Now let's go over here and finish the same pyramid shape going up two, one, two, one, like that. In the front of the house, we're going to have a couple of dormers. These are the windows that stick out from a roof and they're going to start two over. So one, two, knock out a space like that. Come over here. One, two, knock out a space like that. Now let's go ahead and switch back to our stairs and we'll put a staircase facing out that way. This will be the bottom of the window and one that direction. Now because of the slope of the roof, we're actually going to have to switch back to spruce planks and add a second layer like this. And then coming on the outside, we'll add one there, one there. And let's go up, up one more. Here we can put it in an upside down staircase, right there, and right there. Now let's go to the back of the house and add the same two layers. If you like, you can put more dormers in the back, which gives a little bit more space and a little bit more light. In this build, I'm only putting them in the front. Next, we'll go ahead and frame the exterior roof line with cobblestone stairs. Starting on this log right here, we're going to have a cobblestone stair, one next to it, so it overhangs this area by one. And we're just going to go across front like this. Now on both sides, we're going to put upside down stairs on the back, stairs like that, and continue the same pattern all the way up. Like that. And I'll be back when I'm done with the other side. When you're finished, you should have a pattern that looks like that. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. There. Now let's go up to the top and we'll put a staircase facing this direction. Switch over to our cobblestone slabs and come straight across the top until we connect with the fireplace. We'll actually come one shy like this and then we'll continue the blocks up so we continue the look at the fireplace and later on we'll remove those as we drop in the uh, details.
like that. Now I'll go ahead and I'll finish this off camera and I'll be back in a second. Now the house should look like this. Kind of weird and creepy looking, but we're going to go ahead and fix that right now. Switch to your dark oak stairs and we're going to put the rest of the roof on. Looking at this build now, I can see that I made a mistake. You know what? That's okay. It happens in Minecraft all the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out that upside down stair and that stair on both sides. And we're going to put in instead a regular block there, a regular block there, and this is actually going to come up one more. Yeah, that's looking better. Okay, let's go ahead and put in that upside down spruce stair like we had before. Put that right there. So now we should have a two, uh, a two space opening right here, not just a one. Sorry about that, folks. My mistake. Okay. Let's finish off the dormers. Put stairs like this, one overhanging like that, and we're going to do the same thing that we did on the sides. We're going to come up in this pattern. So right here, where um, it's you know you can't come up with another stair, we put it upside down, one facing out like this, just like we did on those sides, and we'll do the same over this side. So we'll come out one, upside down, right side up. So you should have structure that looks like this. Now we're going to come up here, add a, a stair facing this direction, and then stairs connecting across the top like this. There, if you destroy that stair, it connects properly. And we're going to switch over to, now we're going to switch over to slabs and connect the roof so it looks like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other one off camera and I'll be right back. All right, there we are. Now I'm gonna go around to the back and finish that side off too. Remember this side doesn't have dormers, but you can add them if you want. There you go. Okay, let's go inside and add the windows, some details to the interior of that roof on the second floor, and a stairwell going up to the second floor. Coming over to the corner, we're going to take out five, one, two, three, four, five. And then right here, we're going to add stairs coming down. So we should have a one gap opening here and a stairwell coming up. And then on the interiors, we're going to go ahead and add some upside down spruce stairs and cover up some of those um, dark oak logs. So it looks uh, a little bit cleaner on the interior like this. And then the same on this side. Now let's switch over to our spruce planks and go ahead and fill in this roof area, like this. And then over like that. And same here. Let's drop in our windows.
Perfect. Now let's go ahead and finish up the fireplace. Kind of cleaning up this area a little bit. We can open this back up again. We'll add upside down cobblestone staircases there. Cobblestone staircases there. And actually up here in the corner, we can, we can leave that like that. That looks fine. Uh, you can also make those solid blocks if you want. Later on, we'll go ahead and put chests here and here for storage. Okay, next we'll go outside and finish up the exterior. The next thing we're gonna do is go around the entire base with cobblestone stairs and outlining it like this. Stopping here because we're gonna do a garden back here and I'll do that after this step. Let's go around to the other side and do the same thing here. And we'll come around this fireplace like that. Perfect. Now on the sides, right here, we'll add a stair going up that direction and a stair going up this direction. And then we'll do a solid cobblestone block here and a solid cobblestone block here. On top of this, we're gonna add some cobblestone walls to add support for the roof line. Perfect. Now let's go around back and make the garden. Coming off from this side, we're gonna have stairs. We'll connect, connect it like that. So a total of five. One, two, three, four, and five. And right here, we're gonna add another spruce log. and we're gonna come up a total of three. We're gonna skip four, one, two, three, four. And on the fifth one, come up three, skip two, come up three, skip four, come up three. Now let's go ahead and connect these all with stairs. We'll skip this for now because we're going to put stairs going up there to enter the house. And then we're going to add upside down stairs so we have an, a look like this. We'll do the same thing over here and on the other side. Now let's go over to the back here and we'll put two stairs like that, sticking out one uh, from the, the logs. Some cobblestone like that. And another set of stairs there. Now we can jump down here and take these out. And you have a choice here of either filling this up with cobblestone for one layer, or go ahead and, and dropping in dirt for the rest of this. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some dirt and I'll be right back. I went ahead and grabbed grass so I can go ahead and convert them into path blocks um, on the sides here. But you could use regular dirt as well uh, and then put cobblestone paths down. I'm gonna leave this center lane open here because we're gonna add cobblestone and then a place for water uh, so we can hydrate the soil. I'm leaving this open right here because I'm gonna put a composter. Not in the ground, but um, when you make path blocks, they kind of drop down like a couple pixels and you can see the block below them. Um, so when you have dirt there, it looks weird. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop a cobblestone block there as well. Let me go ahead and put in cobblestone blocks here. We're gonna come out one, two, three. And then this is gonna be water source blocks here. So we'll drop in additional uh, cobblestone blocks here. Let's go ahead and grab a water bucket, place water down, and then go to our cobblestone slabs and put slabs on top. That way it hydrates all the land here, four from every direction, so one, two, three, four, and this will be a path block all the way around. 
and uh, we can have our crops growing in this little space. Now finishing off the exterior, we'll add in dark oak fences around all these openings, not there. And then dark oak slabs on top of each of these logs like that. Let's go ahead and add two fence gates over here. That'll keep mobs from getting out, but it'll also allow us if we want to bring in a horse into this area um, or animals and make this more of a uh, corral for animals versus a farm, you're, you can absolutely do that. Now let's go ahead and drop in our composter in this corner and let's till some land and plant some crops. So go ahead and grab your hoe and shovel and some vegetables to plant. Let's go ahead and use the shovel by right clicking down around the exterior here and make a path. It goes around all the way like that. And then we'll go ahead and switch to our hoe and do the same thing here. And this should be again to hydrate here fairly quickly. Uh, showing that the um, all the soil is is being um, reached by water. Let's go ahead and switch to our seeds and I plant wheat on this far end over here as well. One thing to remember when you're planting vegetables, if you have rows of different types of vegetables like this, all your crops grow faster. There's a some complicated Minecraft formula for what needs to be touching it, but the simple thing is just make rows of different vegetables and uh, you're golden. It just can't be the same crop uh, touching twice. There, like that. Now let's go ahead and decorate the sides and the front. All right, let's come around to the left and do some decorations here. This looks kind of a bland wall. So we're gonna put um, upside down staircases, cobblestone staircases, if I can reach it here, there we go, um, across the um, spruce log, like so. And then right here, next to the window, we're gonna add a, a wall, cobblestone wall on either side Let's go ahead and replace that one um, with a, um, a cobblestone block. And we'll do the same thing underneath this one too, right there. And then we'll add another wall. And I think this will look a little bit better. Yeah. And we'll go ahead and add um, some fence posts, uh, dark oak fence posts, like that. Yeah, looks good. Uh, let's add something up here too. Let's go ahead and, and finish the dark oak fence posts like this. Perfect. Okay, let's add in some flower beds. We'll do three across like that. And we'll go ahead and use um, dark oak trapdoors this time, uh, just because it stands out better uh, against this uh, all this wood. One on the side there, one on the side there. And we'll go ahead and put uh, my favorite corn flowers in like that. Looks much better. Now let's go over to the front and add a couple more flower beds there. Under each window, these will be two. Once again, oak trap, dark oak trap doors. Oh, sometimes they can be tricky. There we go. And I'll do the same over here. Actually, I can go ahead and drop the trap doors in first if we want. Be all fancy like. Like that, and then we'll, of course, dirt, trap door, trap door, corn flour, corn flour. There. Now, the only thing this uh, exterior is missing are lanterns or lights. So let's go ahead and we have this nice little covering here. So we can drop in a lantern on either side of the door. Come over here in the corner, we'll pop one over there, and one on this side. We'll do the same here. We'll drop them right behind those walls. And let's go over to the other side where the um, fireplace is. 
one in that corner, one on this corner, and the back porch area, the garden area, open that up, and we'll do the same thing. We'll put one, actually we'll go up in there like that, one there, one there, and then one in the corners, like that. Now to finish off this back area, um, I think I think I want some light up here, so we're going to go ahead and take those off. We'll add in two fence posts, and then we'll stick a lantern on top of each one of those, like that. Yeah, much better. And don't worry, I didn't forget. We're going to finish this whole build by completing the top of the fireplace. So let's go up and do this now. What we're going to do is put down some temporary blocks, three coming up the center like that. And we're going to do cobblestone stairs around the base facing their normal direction. Another layer facing their normal direction. This is similar to the episode four build and then upside down for the top. And don't forget to remove these temporary blocks. And you should have a clear area here for smoke to come up. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and um, put in a, um, a haystack with a fireplace on top for that second level so the, the smoke goes up higher so you can find your house if you're looking for it from a distance. All right, now that we've finished, let's take a look inside to see how I decorated. Here we have our standard storage, all of our crafting needs, smelting, everything we need to continue on our adventures. And then over here, we have our brewing station set up, chest for supplies, water supply to fill up our bottles. Let's go upstairs. More storage around another fireplace, two beds, and a full enchanting setup. Well, that's our tutorial for today. If you enjoyed what you've seen and would like to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button Click on the notification bell to receive notifications of the next video, and leave a comment and tell me what you'd like to see in future videos. Until next time, bye for now.